Hello lovelies, welcome to this week's video. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be talking about some crystals today. Shocker. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about crystals for goals or crystals that are going to help you on your journey towards your goals um, and keep you motivated, keep you focused, um, giving you energy, emotional support, those kind of things. So that's what we're going to be looking at today because we're in a brand new month. We're in June halfway through well by the end of the month we'll be halfway through the year and I don't know about you but it feels like this year has just flown by like I can't really believe that it's June already so there were a lot of um targets and goals that I set myself in January for 2019 and some have worked out some are going well some I tried didn't work out so well but I, not dwelling on it, I learned a lot from it and can approach it differently next time. And then also remembering that there is still seven months left of this year. And if I keep going on a lot of them, I may not smash them out of the park by the end of 2019, but I'll be a damn sight closer by January 2020. So that is my... Um, overall kind of perspective on the goals that I've set for this year it's not a case of oh my gosh it's June I'm never going to reach that I may as well stop now and I'll try again next year because things will just keep happening that cycle will just continue so it's about the bigger picture it's about going forward taking those small steps every day or every week getting you that little bit closer so that you're you can feel like you're working on it all the time. And by the end of the year, if you haven't achieved it, which you may well do, you may surprise yourself and everything will be great if you really push for it and you really want it. But if you don't, it's okay because you think about how far away you were 12 months previous and how far you've come, then that's the important thing. So this whole month is gonna be focused on things like your goals, checking in on your year so far, a bit of reflection, where you see yourself going and things like that. It's kind of a halfway point check-in, if you like. So we're gonna be covering four particular crystals today. Um, each one has its own place in helping with um, achieving goals, willpower, staying on track, that kind of thing. You can use them individually. As I've said before, these are a recommendation but the most important thing with crystals is that you go with the ones that you are drawn to. That is the most important thing is you go with crystals that you connect with. Um, so you can try one or two of these crystals. You can try all four and have them kick and, and carry them around in a cluster. That's um, in a little pouch. That's absolutely fine. They will work really well together and they'll each do their job individually as well. So um, it's all based on what you are drawn to ultimately. So we've got four crystals. I'm going to go through one by one now um, to help with achieving those goals. So the first one is a crystal called Mookite Jasper. It's a form of Jasper. So it's just called Mookite sometimes as well for short. And as you can see, it's it's there are so many different colours of, of Mookite. You'll find that some are maybe purple all over, some that are pinky all over, and some that are yellow all over. But I really like this piece because it's just it's just so interesting to look at because it's just so many different colours. So Mookite um, is perfect for having with you on your journey towards your goal because the energy that it gives you is it enables you to see the bigger picture. It enables you to see all of the options in front of you and to make an informed decision. Um, it's one to then what will help you see that decision through, give you the confidence to do it. It keeps you up with the, the drive to do it and the focus to do it. Um, so it is all about Mukai, it's all about keeping you on track with your bigger picture. So it's one that you would have with you on the whole journey of um, achieving your goal. And it is just, it, 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 Mukai is just, is just beautiful. So there's just so many, different color variations that you can um, look at and see which one appeals to you most and which one you're drawn to. So this is definitely a goal-getting crystal. 
um a hundred percent recommend this one um to anyone who is trying to achieve something or starting off on a journey of achieving something um next one we're going to look at today is goldstone so as you can see this stone i don't know if you could, it comes up very well on the camera but it's very shimmery it has gold in it so goldstone is this shimmer is uh, i think it's artificially um, enhanced or artificially put on it doesn't affect the energy coming from the stone itself so goldstone is all about motivation and willpower and staying true to your goal and giving you that drive and that ambition and that kind of confidence to think bigger and want to go and get those goals now these goals that i've been talking about throughout this uh, video can be absolutely anything it could be a promotion it could be a new house it could be wanting to lose weight it could be studying something it could be um house renovation decorating um anything it can be absolutely anything big or small it's something that you anything that you want to achieve and a place where you want to get to is your goal. There's no right or wrong. It's just something that, that is personal to you that you want to achieve. And that's what these crystals will help with. So Goldstone is fantastic for ambition, for motivation, for drive, for focus, and for keeping you going. It's giving you that when you're having those slump days and you just feel like, oh, I can't, I just, I can't be bothered. It's grab this stone, take on that energy and just give yourself that boost so that you can get something done. So that is what Goldstone is for. Then we have um, Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye, again, really pretty stone, lots of different colors in there. So you'll find different pieces will have um, maybe slightly different color tones and markings on them. So Tiger's Eye is, it's a very balancing stone. So this is great for your emotional self on your, goal getting journey it is something that it's the energy that can on days when you may be feeling a bit frazzled or overwhelmed or underwhelmed or just something feels off and you're not feeling great then tiger's eye can bring you back into balance you can hold it um hold it on your solar plexus chakra the one immediately below your breastbone your center chakra to help just bring some balance back. It's one that you can keep with you to keep you balanced, to keep you on an even keel. Um, so it it's a great one. Again, it's a, it's a kind of a journey long one or one to grab when you're just having, maybe having a rough day and you just need to kind of find yourself, center yourself again. Then Tiger's Eye is really great for that. And the fourth stain we're gonna look at today is Citrine. Citrine is a beautiful stone. It's really vibrant. Again, you'll get some that are like kind of milky like this. You can get some that are really like a vibrant, almost lemon yellow. So this, this stone, again, it's extremely uplifting. Citrine has so much positive boosting energy in it. It, it helps with your drive, it helps with your motivation, but it also helps with um, battling fatigue and tiredness as well. It gives you a bit of a wake up. And it's really good and it helps to open up your creativity so um, and your clarity and thinking clearly and just getting those wheels turning and ideas forming. And if you're going to have, if, if you're in a, a position where you need to have like lots of ideas or a brainstorming session or you just need a bit of a pick me up, a bit of motivation, then citrine is the one to go for. And citrine is also very good when it comes to prosperity and abundance as well. So if one of your goals is a income related goal or uh, maybe a business goal or work goal, then citrine can really help with um, abundance and prosperity as well. If you get a very small piece of citrine, it's a great one to carry around in your purse or in your wallet directly where you keep your, um, your change maybe or um, with your cards or whatever you carry your money in. Little... Um, citrine in there can help with boosting abundance as well so the four of them together as you can see if we've got citrine which is your abundance creativity pick me up and drive then you've got tiger's eye which is all about balancing your emotions um helping you feel balanced and level-headed and on track 
gold stone is all about that ambition and willpower and staying true to your goal and keeping yourself um focused and then mukai to keep on the journey of again it's motivation opening your mind to the bigger picture seeing all um all options and making informed decisions so all four of these together angle it so you can see so all four of them together are an absolutely amazing goal getting collection of stones um you can get m more of these uh, uh like various um tumble stones of these you could add in some clear quartz as well and make a grid if you wanted to um that's something i probably discuss in more detail in another video um of some grids that you're able to set up for this purpose um because that way you have instead of having to carry around like lots of crystals with you if you set up a grid with your goal as that in, as the intention for the grid the crystals are working all the time in the background towards that intention for you as well so there's um there's a lot to be said for for the grids because then you don't have to lug things around and it's always working and it's always focused on it and it's also a nice focal point for you to go to and maybe ground yourself when you're having a bit of a off track day with your goal or something like that so um so that's something else that i can uh, talk about in an, in another video if you'd like to if you'd like me to do that then just like this video or comment below and let me know and that's a video that i can make for you as well um also if you did want to learn a lot more about crystal grids because they are a very helpful uh, thing to do when you want to use crystals for a specific purpose because it is setting the crystals up in a way that they can work 24 7 on your said intention be it a goal or anything in your life that you want to use crystals for then i'll put a link in the description below to my uh creating combinations crystal combinations and grids online um online course it's an hour long uh, course made up of lots of different videos totaling an hour and it goes into a lot more detail about how to combine crystals together and how to put them into grids and what you might want to use those grids for and there's grid templates in there for you to download it's a really really helpful course so i'll put the grid for that in the description as well so i hope you found this helpful and if you have these in your collection then get them out see which ones you're drawn to get them cleansed and charged up for your uh, for your goals so those are the ones that are going to be focusing on um and if you want to take a look um at some more crystals and crystal sets that I have on offer the link for that will be in the description as well um and I wish you all the best with your goals I am like I said June is kind of goal month six month check-in month so there will be more videos and podcasts and um some like mini blogs on my social media as well links to everything is in the description if you want to check those out and um that's what we're that's going to be our focus for June is thinking that it's not over if you've not got there or you've not really even started and we're six months in, that's okay. We've got like over, just over six months left. So think how much closer you can be by the end of the year. That is the message that I want you to take away from this, that it's not over because six months have run away with you. You still have a long time left. So um, grab your tiger's eye, your mukite, your citrine or your goldstone, get cracking, get refocused and it's time to start again or just really crack on this time and i'm going to be here all month cheering you on yay so thank you for joining me i hope you found it really helpful like i said lots of other resources and that crystal grids course uh is in the links in the description below to take a look at those and i'll be back next week to talk more crystals and goals with you speak to you soon take care bye